Hey everyone, it's Ren from Strong Girl Knits and I'm here for episode 5. And let's see. Oh, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Um, if you celebrated, otherwise if I just hope you had a great week. So it was it's pretty fun. I always have two family dinners. Uh James and I go to his family dinner and then uh we have mine to go to. It was a little no, it was nice. My my body did not seem to enjoy it very much, but it's okay. If you hear a rabbit or hear any noises, that would be Sherlock. And I'm going to go grab his treat bag that he managed to find. So one sec. All right, so I'm in the living room. This is my tree. It's not as good of a backdrop as Sarah from the Canadian Knitter. Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby boy. And uh, anyways, I have Sherlock. He's out running around. And hopefully I got his treats. So hopefully I can convince him to come over and I can pick him up. And you all can meet Sherlock. So, let's start out with finished objects. I finished a washcloth. <laughs> yes, I finished one washcloth, but hey, this is 30 grams to the D stash along. And I used up all this green, all this green, and it will go with mom's present on her, uh, what do you call it, that... The rug I made. <laughs> so, got that. Uh, that's all completely finished objects, but I did dun, 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 finish the body of James's sweater. So, oh, get down. So, quite a bit. Uh, James is a little, I don't want to call him short, but he is. You know, he's not super tall, so this pattern called for about 18 and a half inches from under the arms down. And I didn't, I ended up, I think, only doing like 17 inches total. And it worked out just fine. Almost completely used up the third ball. So, so I think I'm going to have a ball left over on this because I really don't see the arms taking more than one ball of that Knit Picks Brava, but of course I could be wrong. That's why it's always good to go a little over your estimated gauge. So, there's that big guy. Now, for works in project progress, if any of you have seen my Instagram, you've seen that I kind of cast it on like crazy. You'd be good. Um, <laughs> and, well, I left my socks up at my mom's. I, after dinner, well, I got there, we were waiting, so I sat in was knitting a little bit on her socks and then had dinner and everything and I came back stomach was hurting so I laid down was knitting a little bit and then totally forgot as I was leaving because you know I was getting leftovers and everything and just was not thinking about knitting so I decided to go ahead and start on my other Christmas projects I started this washcloth yesterday This is, I don't know if you can see it very well. Hold on. Where am I at? I don't even know what I just did. Anyways, this is like almost lost washcloth pattern, I think is what it's called. That little spiral, if you can see it. You pretty much, you just do these little, what I call petals. You work petals until you get all the way around and then you sew it together and it makes like a nice circular washcloth. I'm really liking the, pat the pattern so far. It's very easy, very quick to work up. I'm doing it on size seven sevens and uh, just using some plain cotton that I used on my mom's rug. So if you haven't guessed, this is going to mom <laughs> as well. So I'm really liking this. It's a fun pattern. At first I was knitting it and I was like, oh, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't really look like much. And then the more you get, the more petals you do, you really start to see the pattern. Uh, let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, and then I started on the kids' uh, little pro or little things I wanted to make. I am doing The Hooded Cow by Christine Rosen, I believe, where she has it. Oh, they're little hats, and you can do two different kinds of ears. Um, it's like it's a hat with a cow connected, or hood, and then you can do ears or not if you want. So, this one, 
I finished the neck part and I started on the hood. This one I believe is going to be for little C. She's the youngest. I like these colors really well. And then I did, oh, and all of, all of these are knit with uh, Burnett Soft, Softy Chunky. There you go. I got this. I'm going to do these two colors for little V. She is the middle girl. So, and she's number three, and she's the middle of the three girls. But I really like these colors for her. I actually bought two skeins of this and then of the purple color, and I'm really hoping, because I've already finished one, well, partially, you'll see. And I think I can get away with just needing one of each color so I can return those other two balls, which will make me very happy, because I don't want to have them, I don't really have a plan for them, I just got them just in case, so... It's always nice to save some money by returning things. Uh, here is the first one. This one should be for little E, the oldest girl. Nice hood. Now her cow, the cow part on hers is a little shorter. I did what the pattern said, and I think I'm going to do it longer maybe for the other girl. So maybe this one might be for little C and the other one for little E, but um, and see at the top of the pattern, so I've finished it. This is the end. You're supposed to Kitchener the top together. I don't know if I am. I might just flip it over or do it inside out and do a, like a three needle bind off or something. But um, I don't know because I don't know exactly how much I would need to do a Kitchener stitch. So I might just save this, take it to knitting tomorrow and Miss Cheryl can uh, see what she has to say about it. And then afterwards I just put on the little ears. So, oh, and this one, this one is knit with the pink, and then this other color, you can see it, is Premier Yarn, the Deborah Norville collection, and it's the Serenity Chunky Weight. I really like this. So I think Mom gave this to me to make something else, and then I decided to make this with it. So, let's see. Oh, and then the other project I'm doing... This is for little Jay. He is the only boy and the oldest. I feel bad for him sometimes. <laughs> I wish he had a companion, but oh well. It's not what was intended. And I'm just doing a basic, there's greens. I'm just doing a basic ribbed hat. He's about, or he's in fifth grade now. And I don't really know. I would love to do like one of the hooded hats with the ears but I'm afraid maybe that's not cool and I don't want him made fun of or anything and I want him to actually wear it so and I got this yarn it was it's Knit Picks Premier Acrylic I think is what it's called they only had a few and it I think it was only for that big sale they were doing but uh I just I needed like a dollar 25 to get my free shipping so I just went ahead and bought this I thought it'd be perfect make a hat for Jimmy because I didn't really have any boy colors that weren't already planned for so got this I really hope he likes it I'm just using Pearl Soho's classic hat pattern I think is what it's called I don't know, it's really nice I I think I did the largest size because he 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 and I are about like about the same size at this point which is which scares me. He's he's going to be taller than me soon enough. But anyways, I really like this so far. Although, I don't like knitting rib on such tiny needles or at least so much. Because you start out with a size 5 for the headband and then you bump up to 7 for the rest of the hat. And it just feels like it takes forever. But, I don't know. I know I'll be able to get it done in time. And something simple that I can throw in my bag and take with me and knit wherever, like waiting in lines and whatnot. Alrighty, so there's all that that's currently on the needles. Like I said, I left my sock at Mom's. I managed to get some things done, but I really wish I hadn't left it. Uh, oh, and I haven't done any spinning this week. Just, I don't know, just wasn't the time, and I didn't really feel like spinning. I really want to get started on these hooded hats and or hooded cows, but as for acquisitions, so as I said, I, like I mentioned, I did a Knit Picks order with their huge sale. 
I was so upset. I miss the dollar deals because they had the browns and I saw what Sarah had gotten from the Canadian Knitter and I really liked that brown and I wish I would have gotten it because it would have been perfect for like to knit something for James and maybe myself. And then they had dollar roving. And again, it was this really, what I saw that was still on there was this, it called espresso, real rich dark brown and it was so pretty. But then I, you know, I emailed James, I was like, hey, can you look at these, pick out some colors that you like and then I can make an order later. And by the time I, I wasn't even off work yet. And I think, I can't even remember when I did the order, but all the dollar deals were gone and it made me so mad. <laughs> but I still got a really good deal. I managed to get, for 50 bucks, I managed to get two sweater quantities for James, a sweater and a vest quantity for me, and then I pretty much consider this free. So, all right. Now, I for James, I got the Knit Picks Bravo Worsted and I got the Dublin colorway. I actually have knit myself a um, cardigan out of this in the bulky weight. So I really like it. I think if I, I wish I kind of would have gotten with that darker shade they got because James saw it and he, he's just kind of like, oh, I don't know. I think it's a little too bright for him. It's really not that bad. I think once I knit it up, he'll love it. And I mean, he, he's really good. He, he wears everything I knit him. You know, even if he doesn't seem to like it so much, he'll wear it a good amount for me. Uh, then I got this one. This is, again, the Brava Worsted, and it is Umber Heather. Let's see. You really can't see it. But there's kind of like different colors in there. Now, I bought this one because James and I had decided on the green. And he's like, oh, he didn't really know what other color. I'd already almost got him gray. But again, the only gray that I really liked that was dark enough is the one that I'm knitting him a sweater with now. And there was black, of course. But I don't know. I just, I didn't want to mess with black. I didn't want to do a black sweater, at least not right now. So I got this brown. It was a dark color, hoping he liked it. I pulled, or when the box came, I was showing him the different colors or showing him all the yarn. And now he likes this one better than the green. <laughs> so we ordered it. He liked this and then was like, oh, whatever with this one. And then we get it and he likes this better in person than this guy. So I think I'm going to do, I don't know, because there's that Hagrid sweater, the Interweaves magazine did the Hogwarts or the Harry Potter magazine. And there's a Hagrid, Hagrid sweater in there that I want to knit for him. And I think if I do the darker, he'll enjoy it more because um, he kind of likes plainer things, not super in intricate. So if the cables aren't so in your face with a darker color, I think he would like that. Whereas this brighter color, I would definitely have to do a plainer sweater. But that's okay. <laughs> and, and then my last worsted, I got this. Dove Heather. It's really pretty. I'm going to make uh, a vest for me, the Heliopathic Path Vest. It's, again, in the Harry Potter. And it didn't take much from what, like, again, it's just a vest. So I want to knit this for me. And then I, oh, that's not the right one. Sorry. <laughs> and then I got the Knit Picks Brava Bulky in the wine color. For some reason I thought it was cranberry. Um, wine color. Oh, it's pretty. Anyways, I'm doing... Oh, what is it? Again, it's a Harry po It's one from the Harry Potter magazine, and I think it's the Tonks sweater. It's done on a bulky, and it's cable, and it's really cool because the collar is not just a regular collar. It's kind of pulled down to one side, and again, it's, it's bulky weight. I think done on size 10. There was even someone who who's already done it and said they did it within like 24 hours. So granted, they could be extremely tiny, and that's why it only took them 24 hours. But I don't know. I really wanted to knit that. I I've owned the magazine, and I think I've only knit. Actually, I don't know if I've knit any patterns from. It. Oh yes, I've knit sock a sock pattern from it. 
and there's just so many patterns in there I really want to knit and I feel like I, I could wear so I'm excited and then like I said I I bought this it's really it's much brighter than what it's coming out to be There we go. I bought these as well, the lavender and the emerald colorways. Whew, excuse me, I got those yesterday for the girls. Very excited. They, I mean, they all look so great together, and I'm really proud of myself for that. Uh, oh, let's see the D stash along. So, I see that what one of our members has already started posted. I don't remember her name or her username, but her actual name is Lori. She. She sent a box as well for donations, so thank you so much, Lori. She, I haven't weighed this out yet, but I'm going to weigh this out and weigh out my other donations, and I'm going to start a scoreboard. So it'll list everyone who's participating, and then I'll have um, have the ranking up top, you know, who's, who's in the lead and whatnot. So she sent all this stuff. Thank you so much. She got some glitter stuff. I... I, I know Rachel's going to be so happy. So I'm excited. All kinds of goodies, too. This looks good. This, this actually looks like... This actually looks like it's kind of expensive. <laughs> it looks really nice. Anyways, she sent all kinds of goodies, so thank you so much. And that's what... You know, these big balls? They're perfect, guys. Don't think that you have to send an entire skein. I mean... Yeah, you can still do things with these. You can do like scrap hats and stuff. And there's so, I know a lot of people who almost prefer when I do the scrap hats over to like a single colored hat. But, oh, and then lovely Miss Cheryl, who we all know I've talked about numerous times. And I promise she will come on the show eventually. <laughs> she sent, and I excuse the crinkling, she sent a whole big bag of stuff as well. She brought it to me at knit night. So thank you so much, Miss Cheryl. Uh, as I said, the d -stash along has already started and it's going till the end of January. Uh, I have a thread for donations if you want to do donations and participate in that. And then, of course, there's the, the thread for the d -stash along We have a FO thread so you can start putting all your posts on, um, on there and then how much total weight you have so far. With that, I do ask to try and keep it all on one, um... You can go back and like edit your comment. I think you can. If you can't, just go ahead and keep posting and putting your name name down there. But um, I have those up and going, so please go check them out. And if you finished anything, please, please, please go ahead and enter them. I love to see what y'all did. And like I said, for the donation thread, there's a thread open, so you can ask any questions or I've, I've listed stuff there. So um, I have it where you can. Of course, you're welcome to message me if you want to send anything or whatnot. And then I'm going to be posting the score, the scoreboard thread um, for how much, how much you've donated and, of course, um, who all's donated. So, I don't know. I think, I think that'll be fun. Like I said, there's going to be, for each of them, there is a prize for whoever... Uh, knits the most weight in grams, and then, of course, a general entry as well. Whoever, you know, posts something in the FO thread or you donate something. And that's going to be a bag, a pattern of your choice up to $10. Um, a bag made by me, by the way. And then I think I did something else as well, and I can't remember what else I put down. But, again, please, please, please come join, and it'll be great. Uh, I think that's all I have for knitting today. I'm so sorry that was kind of short, but um, yeah, with the holidays, it's kind of rough trying to find something to do. But so my question for the week is what, when it comes to family gatherings and whatnot, do you take your knitting and do you find time that you, I'm, excuse me, that you can find time to knit while you're over there? I know with the, when James and I go visit his mom, we're all kind of running around ch chattering and stuff and it doesn't seem like I have time to sit and knit but then like when we go up to my mom's it's very uh we just we've already had like our lunch with his mom 
and everyone else is just kind of wore down from the day as well so we there's a lot of sitting and chilling there so I tend to get some knitting done at my mom's when we do dinner with my mom uh, lunch with his mom not so much um, and plus with with uh, his mom's you know cooking as well so I'm still helping with that but I don't know it's kind of I mean Friday we didn't have work so I did sit at home and knit quite a bit same with this entire weekend I've, I've knit quite a bit so anyways thank you all for sticking around or thanks for all for watching if you want to stick around uh, just kind of life update lifting update be glad if you came so thank you so much okay oh wait rabbit you guys wanted to see the rabbit <laughs> um hopefully you haven't left yet hold on Sherlock! Okay, sorry, I'm not quite in the frame. So this is Sherlock. He's my bunny. Oh, goodness, I'm sorry. Anyways, here is Sherlock. He is the master of chewing everything and, of course, my baby boy. He's three years old and pretty. I got him shortly after James and I got together. He's a beautiful boy. So I love him very much. He's not a big cuddler. I mean, he is when I sit down and everything. Whoop! Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> ah, hair everywhere. But that's my baby boy, in case you guys wanted to meet him. Anyway, so now on to the lifting and the life and all that stuff. <laughs> um, first off, holidays screw with my diet so bad. <laughs> so unbelievably bad. Last year, we had a meet December the 3rd. And I had to try and watch my weight. And it was, oh, it was so painful because, again, we had Thanksgiving dinners and then we had leftovers. And trying to calculate, you know, it just, it doesn't happen. That's what, this year, thankfully, we don't have any, the meat was beforehand. And we don't have any meats till April. And while I am still watching my diet, of course, you know, Thursday was a free day for me. And the next day kind of was a free, like Friday was kind of a free day. I tried, tried not, but I ended up going over my, uh, going over my allotted amount of carbs and fat by quite a bit, which was not good, but it's okay. Uh, I'm back on track. Yesterday I was good. Today I'm good. I'm actually a little behind today. I slept in. I actually went to work early this morning to certify a tank and then come home and I fell back to sleep so I started late on really getting my eating done which is not good um if y'all do any type of diet definitely try and split it up throughout the day don't don't try and you know let's say between noon and five catch up on everything and or try and get dinner in and lunch breakfast all that jazz it's it's not good for you. Your body can't process all of it right then and there. So, um, but yeah, I actually lifted earlier. That's why I'm kind of gym rat mode right now. And you stop eating the tree. He's eating the tree. Um, it just didn't go well. I kind of failed my squats. I got over half of it done, but I just haven't eaten a lot today. Way behind on my protein and. I just felt weak and that's that's the bad thing when you don't eat like you should you, you feel weak and tired and it's my own fault you know it's no one else's but my own so oh well I, I'm gonna have some fish and everything get caught up have a good day but it's always disappointing that's that's one of the things that uh, it drives me mad like when you have a bad day at the gym and you fail whatever you're supposed to be doing and it may not even be that hard but man you just beat yourself up or I beat myself up about it and it sucks but I don't know as for life really not a lot going on I didn't have to work of course uh, Thursday and then I didn't have to work Friday which was nice so I've had a four-day weekend so far James and I had a great uh, Thanksgiving we had the kiddos um, we weren't or well I ended up going up to my mom's by myself because with the kids there just wasn't enough room um, with 
who, who was hosting the party, which was fine. Um, James got to have Thanksgiving time with the kiddos, and I, I think they played games and stuff, which kind of made me jealous. But, um, but I got to go up and see my mom and see the rest of my um, family, so I really... That made me happy, and of course we had lunch at his mom's, so that was uh, all of us, his mom, and uh, her, her husband, and then uh, his sister and niece, which his niece is adorable, as well as his sister, of course. She's uh, Jennifer, she's the one that loves my knitwear things. I actually bought her, bought yarn, yarn, uh, I bought yarn uh, yesterday to knit her something, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let's see. That's really it. Did you guys do any Black Friday shopping? I, I did not. I, there wasn't anything that was really what I wanted. Trying to, you know, count my pennies to save my, or to replace my windshield, and of course Christmas, so trying to put a little back to buy buy a few things for the kiddos, which is no big deal. But, yeah, I'm really not a big fan of Black Friday. Not, you know, deals are great. I love saving money. I am ridiculously love saving money. But, um, <laughs> Sherlock's being, trying to get in the box. But, um, I don't know. I just don't like the crowds. It's not my thing. Um, I know there's quite a few people that were already waiting outside of uh, Best Buy like at three if not sooner and apparently that was a family tradition for them which I mean if that, that's something you all do as a family that's great and that's really cool I just I think I enjoy being lazy and sitting around and eating a bit more than sitting outside when it gets cold but um, also I live in a like a little bit bigger city and it's not I don't like driving when it's Black Friday like just trying to navigate is not fun. We ended up going to the gym. Like normally, we would have gone to the gym probably at noon, but it was Black Friday and crowds were crazy, and we have to drive um, by like a little shop shopping district to get to the gym. And for ang my anxiety's sake, it was not worth it. So we lounged around and uh, just went later. Also, we we were up pretty late. Um, you know, I had bought a nice bottle of wine for Thanksgiving, and we ended up sharing that, and then going to get a drink. And it was just, we didn't get to bed till super late, so it was not, not worth it. And then I think we did the same the next day, because we slept in so late, uh, Friday, that we stayed up later, because we weren't tired. And then Saturday, it was, I think we got up a little earlier but uh, that's, the, that's the only bad thing about like weekends and long weekends is we are night owls and we tend to stay up way too late. <laughs> but I don't know, it was fun. This was a, it's been a really nice weekend, four day weekend. And only bad thing was at work Wednesday, I, I was, there's this testing we have to do to make sure our um, dry products are disease free. And it's a very finicky process and easily can take you an entire eight eight hour shift to get all three done. And I was wanting to take Wednesday off early and I only managed to cut out, well I cut out two hours early but I didn't, I wasn't able to get it done so my lab, uh, the lab partner, my lab, my co-worker finished it, finished it but this, this next week I'm going to have to do testing both days that was the deal <laughs> but I don't know what did you guys do this weekend if did you guys have a long weekend or did you have to work Friday um yeah tell me what what you guys were doing I'm curious to know so uh again thank you if you stuck around for this and stuck around for the crazy rabbit part thank you so much and I will talk to you guys next week bye